Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and also maybe consider becoming a patron of this channel. Uh, it would help me out immensely. Right, what's this video about? This video is about a new release of the firmware for your multi-protocol module. Now it's version 1.3.2.6. So let's have a look at the computer and go through what the changes are. Okay, there we can see 1326. Now the uh, HOTT protocol, uh, they fixed a bug with the EEPROM handling. I'm not going to read everything that they do, but what's interesting, it says all receivers must be rebound. It is highly recommended to erase the module with flash multi. Now I think this is not to do with the internal module. If I go to flash multi, which is a utility you can download, uh, they mention here, Jumper, iRangeX, uh, Vantac and, and Banggood or DIY multi modules. So I think these are the external modules uh, that this relates to. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that is the case. So we don't need to, I don't think with internal modules for our radios, we don't need to worry about this. But it does say that you've got to uh, highly recommend it to erase the module and then rebind the models. Right, okay, then it's the same story with the Flysky AFHD S2A. Um, I haven't bound, uh, I've got a, re a receiver that uses this protocol, but I haven't bound it to my receiver again since I've updated, so I may have to check that. Okay, then there are new protocols being added, and they are here, one, two, three, three protocols, uh, which in fact I've never heard of, but they're there, they look like they're for JJRC type of models. And the receiver protocol stop binding when requested by the radio. So uh, this is uh, adjustments to the RX uh, protocols. And then, of course, we've got the new Lewis scripts. Now, to download those, we need to go to the, this web page, which all the links will be in the description below. You click here, and then you choose your radio. So if we're going to say, let's go for the um, Radio Master TX12. So there we go, we go over to here, we see it's, it's version 1.3.2.6 and then we've, it's automatically picked the correct module, then you have to check, check your, uh, pick your channel mapping, which I now use AETR. So that's everything. I updated my modules on my radios with no problems, there were no errors or anything um, and everything seems to be working okay. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks for watching, happy flying. Bye for now. 